We have been fighting the coronavirus for some time, and in the meantime, you must have often heard that there is a need for oxygen cylinders and their manufacturing has increased. But in reality, what these oxygen cylinders are? How is oxygen filled in the cylinders? How oxygen can be manufactured in a manufacturing unit? The air we breathe contains 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, 0.9% argon, 0.1% other trace gases and dust particles. An oxygen generator separates this oxygen from compressed air through a unique process called pressure swing adsorption or PSA. PSA is one of the most accurate and widely considered methods to generate oxygen. The process of producing oxygen in plants through the PSA method starts from capturing the air from the atmosphere. PSA devices installed in plants take atmospheric air into a pressurized tank. Entering these tanks, the air passes through a filter that removes dust and pollen. Then the air is compressed and fed into a purification unit to remove the molecules of water, carbon dioxide, and hydrocarbons to avoid the formation of ice or dry ice during cooling. The pressure swing adsorption process for the generation of enriched oxygen gas utilizes the ability of a synthetic zeolite molecular sieve to absorb mainly nitrogen. While nitrogen concentrates in the pore system of the zeolite, oxygen gas is produced as a product. Zeolites under pressure have the ability to deform and create a dipole. Depending on the zeolite chosen, this dipole allows for the collection of nitrogen, but allows oxygen to pass. For oxygen enrichment, the PSA is generally pressurized to a minimum of 1.5 atmospheric pressure. After a certain volume of air has been separated, the zeolite will become saturated with nitrogen. At this point, it needs to be regenerated. This is done by dropping the pressure of the tank back to atmospheric pressure, thus returning the zeolite to its original polarity. This liberates the nitrogen. Vacuum pressure swing adsorbers lower the pressure in the tank to subatmospheric values, thus improving the regeneration process. In both processes, while one tank is regenerating, another tank is usually charging. This allows for a continuous production of oxygen. This PSA process produces an output of 95% oxygen at approximately 5 liters per minute. After the production process, the storage of oxygen started. Oxygen can either be stored in cylinders, a vacuum-insulated evaporator, or a manifold cylinder bank. After that oxygen is supplied to required areas, it can be either via pipeline or cylinders. So, that's how oxygen is produced in manufacturing plants. If you think this video is informative, please do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. May science bless you.